everybody, I'm here with Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Bjorn, yes. Okay, uh, we have a little talk here over a new pump. It's not a new one, but a very interesting pump because it's an airlift. Uh, yes, uh, we use uh, airlift to move a lot of water just with uh, uh, a little bit of air. Mm. Uh, and that means that we can uh, have over 10,000 liters water an hour through uh, our filters, but just 20 watts of, or, or less than 20 watts uh, of our air pump. Yeah, of course we can have also more. You can have more, more than you use a bigger pump. We, uh, air pump. Air pump, yes. So, and who is work? Uh, yeah, I can explain how it works by, uh, by using uh, this module. Uh, what we have, we have the air pump. Uh, then we have a, a big tube where the water is uh, coming from the, uh, the filter. Uh, with the air pump, we pump in the, the air through a, a bigger uh, pipe with a pressure chamber. And then the air will be released and takes off a lot of water uh, with it. And after uh, uh, the bend, we uh, let, uh, let release the yeah the air is, uh, must be released so we don't have any uh, obstacles for the rest of the air. Uh, you, now you see it the the, the, the first T piece that the, uh, the air will be released. There's a lot of air brought into the water, so the second T piece you see a lot of movement of the water of water and air as well. The, the best uh, thing is to get as uh, least as possible air into the second uh, T-piece. And that's uh, how this, the system works. Uh, the pressure chamber, which is a big part of the complete airlift uh, chamber, must be at least 170, 175 below the water surface. Uh, and how is it built? That's very easy. We only use a big PVC tube. We have a sock, which is a bigger board than uh, the tube. And we have uh, two reducers uh, to close uh, the pressure chamber. One moment. What you can see, we already uh, made a, a module. Uh, what we do is, in the sock, we create a little hole for the air, the air supply. We use 20 mil, but it can be uh, more or less, depends on how much air you want to uh, get to uh, the system. Uh, in the sock, you replace the reducers. In every reducer, we, we have a ring which holds the pipe normally, so the pipe can go further. That ring we get out of the reducer, so we can put the ring completely over the tube. And when we do that, and everything is glued. And everything is uh, glued at the end. Uh, we first test everything if everything fits like it should be, and then we uh, we glue everything. So, and here you have some lines. Yes. The, to show uh, that you make uh, a lot of holes here. Yes. Uh, what we uh, do, because when you look at the reducer ring, you see uh, a little space, and let's show it a little bit. Hopefully, it's been seen on the camera. You see a little space between the pipe and the sock. That's our pressure chamber when it's fully closed and, and glued. And in that same space, we create on the, the pipe a few lines. Uh, and on that line, we create a lot of uh, small holes. So, uh, how many lines? Four lines? Uh, three or four lines, depends on what uh, what we need. And the dimension of the, the holes? The holes are uh, 0.5 or 1 millimeter. Depends also the, the pump that you set? Uh, yeah. It depends on the pump, uh, the depth, um, the, yeah, the complete circumstances for wh where you use it. But okay. normally, four lines, three or four lines with 0.5 or 1 millimeter are yeah, what mostly is used and gives the best. Uh, performance for our airlift. Okay, so not the thing very important is, of course, the, the height yeah. of the airlift himself. Yes, uh, we always place the passage chamber at least 170, 175 below the water surface. When you see at this module, this is our water surface, so the passage chamber must be as low as possible. So 175 
is uh, for the most air pumps a very good depth. And when uh, you have a pond, uh, for example, that have only uh, one meter depth? Um, what we use, we use uh, what we call a collector. It's uh, a tube behind your filter where all the water is uh, collected. And that can be deeper than your pond. Uh, then you don't have the problems of just a, a meter. You can use an airlift with the passenger chamber on a meter, but you lose a little bit of flow uh, in total. It's not that much of what you uh, lose uh, when in a normal circumstance uh, with a 20 watt uh, pump you get 10, 11,000 liters an hour. When you go to a meter you get 8, 9,000 and then you see the higher you, you get with the uh, pressure chamber the lower the flow will be. So, okay, another thing that's changed the flow is also the, the height of the outlet of the, the airlift. Uh, yes, um, mostly we use the outlet about uh, the, the upside uh, on the same level uh, as the water level or uh, 10 centimeters below. That's what we expect is the best solution for get the most flow with, uh, with the airlift. Some people do, uh, after the last T-piece, they put in uh, a T-piece with a bend uh, below and have used the airlift to uh, get the flow uh, a lot lower than the 10 centimeters and that they use it for uh, winter purposes so you don't have the water which can cool off in the, during the winter and they, they use a, a lower one for uh, releasing the water back about half meter lower or even lower than a half a meter but then you have less flow than when we use between uh, zero centimeters and ten centimeters below water level. Okay. So another thing may be important because we we talk about of uh, ten, eleven thousand uh, liters an hour uh, as flow, but uh, of course uh, some people needs more than that. It's uh, this amount of uh, of flow. So you can put uh, more than one airlift, of course. That's yes. one solution. You can put also uh, higher pumps to have more. What is the the most uh, possibilities that you have with an airlift uh, as uh, flow? Uh, with uh, with one, only one. Yeah. Eh? Uh, at the moment, there are uh, airlifts uh, on pumps which can get about 30, 35,000 liters an hour. But they don't use at this moment. They don't use a pressure chamber, but they use. Um, uh, a big uh, air disc uh, which can uh, create more bubbles, smaller bubbles than the patch chamber at the moment and they use a bigger bore of the, um, of the pipe uh, instead of 110 they go to 125 or 160 uh, mil uh, uh, pipe and then you get more uh, flow and the air, air pump is, uh, is bigger as well, mostly 60 liters or even bigger 70, 80 liters uh, a minute. Okay, that's uh, one way to do it. Second way is to put, of course, more than one airlift. In this case, it's also something to say. Uh, yeah, when you use uh, more uh, airlifts, you can go smaller with, uh, with the air pumps. So you, you use, uh, instead of one air pump of 60 liters, you can use three air pumps or from 20 liters. And then uh, the power uh, of your uh, total system goes uh, down uh, a lot because the, uh, l the smaller air pumps uh, they use normally 20 watts but when they uh, when we use them on the airlift they go down till 10 11 watts and then still produce 10 11 thousand liters that is also important to put one uh, pump on, on one, one airlift. Airlift. yeah that is very important to uh, every airlift is own pump and then you can create with m uh, multiple airlifts, one, uh, two, three uh, more, you can cre still create 20, 30,000 liters flow through your filter with a very low amount of energy uh, cost. Okay, I think we, we say all that uh, it was needed to say on the airlift. Uh, of course, it's not finished because uh, you find everything on uh, airlift point uh, AU uh, it's, you have uh, all the details uh, on this uh, website 
uh, also on Koi Vrinden, but it's in only in Dutch. And then, uh, of course, uh, in other form is because uh, we, we talk a uh, lot of uh, airlift because it's very cheap to use as energy, of course. And today it's very important to have uh, so less as possible energy uh, consumption. Yes. Uh, the power consumption of airlift is very low and that's the reason why we use a lot of airlift uh, at the moment. Um, and you do more things than just moving a lot of water. You uh, aerate the water as well. Normally you put in an air stone for getting uh, some air into the water and now we use the airlift which does the same. The only difference is that the air which is normally freely into the water it's been uh, put in a tube so you create a lot of flow. So you have flow and you have air into the water. Yeah, you do two things at the same time and just put the water uh, outside the, the filtering system. You have better oxygenation of the, the pond himself and uh, it's uh, a lot of application uh, possible in this way. Uh, yes, um, that's the reason why a lot of people uh, use it um, and it's fun, fun to make it yourself. That's very important to say because, uh, yeah, airlift very useful, very cheap to use, very also cheap to, to build because we talk about a price of a pump of uh, less than 10 euro, yeah, something uh, like this. The, the, the bigger, uh, when you use a bigger model, uh, then you're around 20, 25 euros for all the equipment you need to build an airlift about two meters high. Uh, so the cost for the, uh, for the material is not that high. The only bigger cost we use is the air pump because that's uh, they are normally higher because we use uh, the, the, the better uh, air pumps you can, uh, can buy because they mostly, uh, when they are put on pressure, they fall back a lot more in uh, power consumption. Okay, so uh, cheap to, to build, but no way to buy it somewhere because it's a uh, do-it-yourself system. It is completely DIY, you can do it yourself, um, and a lot of us like that idea uh, most. It is, uh, for most stores, very difficult to, to sell because you, you go to a, sh a shop and you go buy uh, the stuff for 20, 25 euros. So, okay, so just set, go to uh, airlift.au uh, and uh, you can find a lot of information. Uh, uh, some of results of different tests that are made in the past and uh, things like this. But uh, stay with us because, uh, okay, we can work uh, with airlift uh, just only to pump, but we can set airlift also with a different uh, type of uh, mechanical filtering systems because we can use also with drum filters and uh, things like this. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, koi keepers at the moment uh, which use uh, drum filters or other kind of uh, filtration or what we have here is uh, a sieve uh, hanging upside down into the water um, because we need everything on um, uh, the water level. We can't pump uh, up a, a lot of water above water level. So everything is gravity fed on the same uh, level as the water. So every filter which you can use there, you can use for airlift. Of course. So it's not finished because uh, later we discuss also over the sieve, yes. very special sieve. So it's not finished, but take a look now because we see also what we can do in, in true with different ponds. Yes. So Bjorn, I thank you for all this explanation. Thank you for having me. And we see you later, certainly on the Koi shows and somewhere else. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.